Hey you, you wanna be legend? This is the Man Faces Assault Commando build. In this video I will outline the Assault Commando build. The build's three main stats are Perception, Agility, Luck. But we will be getting some intelligence so that we level up faster. So let's get started. The special stats for this build are Strength 2, Perception 9, Endurance 3, Charisma 1, Intelligence 5, Agility 4, and Luck 4. The build focuses on gear crafting to keep the edge in combat. You'll end up saving a lot of defense perks that way. We will be raising Agility and Luck more as the playthrough goes on. I won't lie and say the start of the build is an easy one. It is a tough play. The reason is we haven't gotten our first set of perks. After we hit level 5, we will be powerful enough to break the game's systems. Before we can start spending our first 4 perks, we have 2 very important things that we have to accomplish in order to finish the pre-build. The first thing we have to do is get the Perception Bobblehead from Preston inside of the museum. It's a main story quest and then you can get it at the very beginning of the game Man, giving you Perception 10 right off the bat. That is very important for the Assault Commando build because we will be relying heavily on concentrated fire. That's it? Just gonna walk away? The second thing that we have to get is one extra strength from the Your Special Book that can be located inside of your house, inside of Sean's room, in Sanctuary. With this last piece, we're ready to start spending our points into the commando build. Perk 1, Concentrated Fire. With the ability to increase your VAT's hit chance with each shot, it makes crippling headshots easy from the start, as heads have less DT but are harder to hit. Perk 2, Armor. DT works different in Fallout 4. You need loads of it. But at the same time, staying light on your feet is key. With armor, you can upgrade your gear at will, adding powerful bonuses that would otherwise take forever to gather from vendors. Perk 3, Gun Nut. With the ability to make powerful ballistic weapons and easy mass for upgrades, you choose what and how your weapons shoot making your own special weapons and freely upgrading settlement defense. Perk 4. Choose your discipline. At this point in the build, it's your choice to choose what type of ammo you want to shoot with. Whether you go with the Commando, which is an automatic build, and spray and pray. It uses lots of ammo. I chose the Rifleman. It has steady shots, a low rate of fire but high stopping power or you can be the pistol fighter that's light lighter damage heavy on criticals and luck once you obtain the first set of perks you begin to see a difference automatically and it only gets better at level 10 Perk 5, Bloody Mess. No one is going to complain about an extra 10% damage in combat, and the ability to chop your enemy into pulp is nice. We're going to be getting two ranks of this. Now it's time to start fixing our special. You have the choice of putting two points into agility or luck. I chose agility to boost the number of VAT shots I get making concentrated fire even better. Our last perk will go into fortifying our discipline. Since I chose Rifleman, I'm going to get the second rank of the perk, to not only increase the damage, but also to start cutting through enemy armor. Or maybe you think you can talk some sense into her. Lock and load. Let's do this. That's what I wanted to hear. Let's tear this place down. Sometimes it's hard, sometimes it's dirty. Either way, welcome to 15. Perk 10, 
Action Boy, Action Girl. The ability to regenerate AP points 25% faster is nothing to laugh at. It's not only for sprinting, it keeps your vats topped up between shots. Perk 11, Armor, Rank 2. Not only can you greatly improve base rank combat armor, but you also come closer to unlocking invincible power armor upgrades and making sturdy armor upgrades cheaper. Perk 12, Gun Nut, Rank 2. The perk speaks for itself, more damage and stability to ballistic weapons. Also, you get closer to the ultimate settlement defense upgrades. Now it's time to get a little lucky. So we're gonna pump our last two points into luck. On the consecutive level up, we're gonna pump some more into luck because there's one more piece of the puzzle that we need to complete the pre-build of the commando. Congrats, you have your foot in the door and you're on your way to glory. Let's finish up this setup and get you on your way. Perk 15, 16. Two more points into luck to help raise our critical meter faster and unlock a useful tool in your arsenal. Perk 17, 18. Grim Reaper Spirit. Using a rifle requires a lot of AP to perform each shot. With the high special luck stat, we can constantly restore AP with a lucky kill. Perk 19, Discipline. With one more perk point into our rifleman tree, we do an additional 60% damage and we now can cut through enemy armor. Our pipe rifle is now a deadly weapon. And that's the Assault Commando build. You will want to unlock more ranks of the perks we have already unlocked, but the rest is up to you. But until next time, like, share, subscribe, and stay tuned for more Fallout 4 content. This has been Manny of the Waste signing out. Thanks for watching and take care.